<laughs> okay, let me get everything set up. Okay. Uh, I hate it when the spot pings everyone. The second when I start pinging people. Okay, so I'm starting off like really, really like rough, but uh, like I know I'm starting off pretty rough, but I mean, I really want to get back into this. There we go. Now it works. Okay. All right, let's get back into this. The Doki Doki Literature Club is officially open once again. All right, so now that we've got everything done see this one was that one was with Yuri I think well let me actually double check because I want to make sure that we can get this right I'm sure it was Yuri that we ended with Okay, yeah, so it was Yuri that we stuck with the last round. So now we've got to do Natsuki. Okay, so thankfully, we can just skip all this again.
Yeah, so we're just gonna keep skipping through all of this until we get to the parts with Natsuki. So Natsuki, she likes anything with pretty much cake and rainbows and all of the cute stuff. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so anything with like food. Vanilla. Coral. Cute. There we go. So we just have to go through all of this again. So we just need to skip through all of this because we pretty much know every single dialogue from Natsuki already. Okay. Sayori. Okay. 
Now with Natsuki. Alright, so we can pretty much just skip throughout this whole thing. And we just have to spend time with Natsuki. Strawberry. <laughs> uh, let's see, excitement? No, that's the wrong one. Uh, parfait. Dang it. So we need like the more cute things. So now we go through this again. Okay, so now <laughs> skip through this. Hey, Manga. Hey, Manga, how's it going? I'm doing good. Uh, we're just going through Doki Doki Literature Club right now. <laughs> we're currently trying to get the good ending for this game. And, uh, Rocky told me that the only way how to get it is to go through three different, uh, saves and three different runs. So, 
we know most of this stuff already because we did a run with Natsuki before. So we we got the two cutscenes from Natsuki already. Lol, I'm a wolf? Dang right I am! <laughs> I am a wolf. What's it to you? What? You got a problem with me being a wolf? Do ya? Because if so, then I'm gonna smack you with a blep. And you won't be able to join in on the fun. <laughs> I'm just joking. As, as long as you're cool with, you know, just using common sense and, you know, being a cool person in general, we'll get along just fine. I'm doing great work too. If I had to choose a favorite girl, it would be Yuri. Yuri's... Yuri's a nice girl. But, uh, I kind of like Sayori more out of everyone because she's like the most realistic person out of everyone here. <laughs> but Yuri, I mean I liked her at first but after what happened in uh, after what happened in Act 2 I really don't like Yuri as much. <laughs> They've tainted poor Yuri. Okay, uh, let's see. So anything cute we have to find for Natsuki. Which one is the one that uh, that she'll like? Yuri has a knife. I like knives, especially throwing knives. Really? Huh. And I yeet. <laughs> Being honest, I actually do like the design for Yuri. Yuri has a great design. But yeah, so we know most of this stuff already. So we just need to complete this run, I think. And then after the Natsuki path, then I believe is when we'll be able to finally move on and go to Act 2. But you you have to feel bad for Sayori throughout this whole story because because since Monica is like the lord and master of this entire game then she is the one that pretty much kills her So after like when we're done with all of this, because we finished this before, but I just didn't know like what to do at first because I didn't know th about any good ending.
Okay, so we have to go with Natsuki. Let's see. Let me actually check because. Okay, hold on. Load. Yeah, okay, so this one was Sayori's path. This one was Yuri's path. And now we are in Natsuki's path. So, yeah, we have all three girls right now. And then really all we have to do now is just to keep playing as it is. I think. If if I am right about this, then this is how the game should go. Alright, so now we're, we're done with all this. Because Act 2, I think, is when things get really weird. And then we have to do the shittiest thing that has ever existed in Doki Doki. We have to friend zone her. <laughs> You'll always be my dearest friend. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs> oh. Bandit, hello! Hello, hello! <gasps> I'm animated! Am I? I think I am! I think I am! And look! The blep! I have a blep! I have a blep! <laughs> blep! Blep! <laughs> but yeah, how's it going, man? I hope you had a very good birthday yesterday. First of all, I actually, I want to apologize because my dumb butt fell asleep in VR again. I think it was like 1 a.m. PST in my time. And I was actually planning to stay up until 4 since that was when the stream was going to happen. But, <sighs> but yeah, I hope you had a good birthday stream and I hope it went well. Because... As I've said before, man, you are an amazing person. And, you know, I might not be good with, you know, mixing or mashups or anything like that, but you're, you've been an inspiration to me ever since the day we met. And I'm actually glad that we did, because, I mean, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. So, Bandit, I hold a blep out to you as a tribute. Uh, I love doing silly stuff like this, especially when it comes to people who I care about. Yeah. Also, I need to I need to say thank you to whoever gifted me that sub before on your channel. Hold on. I actually got to check. 
Cre Creeping or Gaz uh, Creeping or Gasmo is the name. If they ever do pop up, I, I, I can you, I I need a reminder to thank them because thanks to them I have your emotes. <laughs> And I'm really happy I got them too. They look amazing. Okay. If we did this right, if we did it, then we should be able to move past this without any problems. Monica's place. Oh my god, I skipped it again, but I hate the fact that she says that you kind of left her hanging this morning. Because that is exactly what happens shortly after. This game is on my backlog, I'm aware it's creepy. Yep, it is creepy. It breaks the fourth wall so many times. Like that. That is something creepy. <laughs> Alright, well, that's your first taste of Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> Okay, so everything should still be the same. Okay, so now I believe we should be clear to move on. <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey, hey, who who wants to take? <laughs> spot. <laughs> How about no Sayori? How about an amalgamation of Yuri, Natsuki, and freaking Monica? Okay, so now we should be able to load up fine. Oh my god. It still amazes me how messed up that these characters look like and how messed up that this game is. And now, like, the story gets changed. School day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really aren't that. There really isn't any that interests me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to deal with. I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Yeah, the anime club. The anime club? I think it sounds pretty nice now, doesn't it? Monica! Okay, so last time that we were in Act 2... I would join the anime club. Yeah, I would join too. You see, this is why I don't like literature. Because stuff like this happens all the time. You go crazy. <laughs> uh... A literature club. <laughs> so, Bandit, this game, if you do ever play it, 
just be sure to have File Explorer open and be sure to have it on the games directory because there are a lot of funky things going on in the game directory. I'm back, and I brought a guest with me. Oh, and here comes the... Here comes the torture that is known as the Literature Club. <laughs> ah, Yuri, I feel so bad for you. <laughs> okay, so Okay, so yeah, this is all the same right now. Yeah, so this is pretty much just the same thing with, except without Sayori and without the cupcakes. I'm just trying to look out for any of the key differences. Other than just the multiple distortions that are happening in the game. So last time that we played this, we went with Yuri for the route because we just decided to say, we just decided to goof around and just go for anything depressing. So this time, let's try going the Natsuki route. We want a special poem. A joke. A man walked into a club. In the club, there was a girl who liked him very much. They spent some time together, and she liked him even more. One day, the girl realized she was in love with him. Before disaster could happen, a third party interviewed intervene with her programming. Suddenly, the girl hated herself for being in love. This contradicting caused the script to derail. The universe started to collapse, but she killed herself just in time. That is... That is some very, very dark foreshadowing. Okay. So, we go with anything cute. Lipstick. Your... Uh... Okay, what if we just, like... Okay. <laughs> okay, I did not expect that. That is new. I have never seen that. That looked like, uh, that looked like Sayori and the the music is distorted too. Monica thinks you're cute. Ev everyone. Do <laughs> oh dear. If you don't take it seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Oh. <laughs> that is so creepy. And if you guys don't hear it the music is distorted it's like pitched up by a, a note or two monica and manga manga is literature oh yeah and if you also didn't know if you look if you pay attention to the background it looks like that the background is tilting 
Anyway, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have an interest in picking up a book to read? Well, I can't really say no either way. Like I said, I'm in this club now, so it only feels right for me to do something like that if you asked. <laughs> Wait, I didn't mean it like that. If you don't really want to, then forget I said anything. No, it's not that. I want to be part of this club, so I don't... Are you sure? I just felt like, well, as vice president at all, that I should help you. Get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I want... I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that you thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. <laughs> Could you know, discuss it if you wanted. This, how good, how is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I like, despite me not reading much. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I'll look forward to hearing what you think. <laughs> the music is distorted again. I hate it. Ugh, I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. <laughs> you looking for something in there? <laughs> Fucking Monica. <laughs> okay, we're gonna bring the tech speed down a bit. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point of keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Read manga, right? Sometimes manga's. It's not supposed to be. Ah, 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 There it is. It's a box of manga slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most annoying thing in the world. In the last area, right? <laughs> I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice, but I'll tell you one thing. Consider this a list. Okay, <laughs> don't judge a book. <laughs> In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first. I'm gonna show you exactly why she shoved the book right into my hands. Ah, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly mo. Don't just stand there. Natsuki grabs someone and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall, the windowsill. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Why is that? I guess it's easy to be close together like this. Don't just say that. You'll make it feel weird about it. I didn't expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's particularly a bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki opens it once again. Inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. It's pronounced Moe. Oh, okay. Good to know. Sorry, I'm dumb. <laughs> That's my dumb butt for you. Alright, but I got it. I'll remember that. I'm a weeb. <laughs> I think, like... Well, m manga is a weeb, is a weeb too. Mon if manga, I think, is still in here. So yeah, they're a weeb too, but they're also a cool person. Also, manga, I miss you guys. I need to see, like, once once this whole COVID thing is over, we need to meet up again. You know, at some point, somehow, we definitely need to try and meet up again. Well. It definitely yeah i still remember like the different like memories that we had in high school together i was the only i was always the one getting in trouble <laughs> this is fun sharing something you like with someone else i always get excited when i convince any of my friends to pick up a series angel you know what i mean you know uh that's not well i wouldn't really know what do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez, sorry. <laughs> like I could ever get any friends to read this. They just think manga's for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, eh, you still haven't grown that out, grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch them in the face. I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also in it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess gravitated toward the other losers over time, but it's probably harder for someone like you. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? 
I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. Ooh. My dad would beat the shit out of me if he found this. I don't think we've seen that. Me and you in science, I'm a crackhead, right? We were always like that in science. We were always just goofing around. <laughs> At least it's safe here in the club room. Set Monica's kind of a jerk about it. I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Uh, so? Haha, <laughs> geez, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah, I flipped the page. <laughs> Time passes. Natsuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over her. Manga for kids? Have you seen all the gore and blood? Right? <laughs> there are some mangas that are like that. It looks like she started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki. Yeah? Suddenly, Natsuki collapses straight into me. Hey. <laughs> oh, I do not like that one little bit. <laughs> Oh, that is mod that is pretty creepy. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. This is really creepy. <laughs> She's fine. It just happens every now and then. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway, why don't we all share poems now? Right, we should. <laughs> Try not to give us if I shared mine with her first. Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. <laughs> Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Okay, so... This, I think, is the same. I hope going on I should have never actually said that. I say that must Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. You weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Let's be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all about sophisticated and stuff. Some people don't even take my writing seriously. But it isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves. Okay, yeah. So this this is all the same. Alright, Monica. Let's let's do Monica next. Having a good time so far? Good. A little embarrassed today, you know? It's sort of bare. I had Monica in my poem. I like it. It's a lot cuter than I expected. I don't know. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer too, so take that as a compliment. <laughs> if you say so. Yep. It's she cling to you like a puppy. <laughs> Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house, so she's a... Oh, that's right. Because Rocky told me that Natsuki's dad abuses her, so she isn't really always in the happiest mood. <laughs> this is just a guess, but I think she's so small because the malnutrition is interfering. Uh, the adolescent growth, but hey, some guys are into petite girls too, you know? Sorry, just trying to look at the bright side. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not too good. You sound pretty confident. Some, oh, blah, blah. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Okay. Yuri. Let's start speaking. It's fine. Don't force. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. <laughs> so that's that bad. No. I just. 
so sorry, but Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. Okay, so yeah, this is all the same. Also, I like the poem even though it was short. Okay, so let, let's just skip through this. I want to go write something in the notebook. Yuri Smosa, what's with this language? Uh, did you say something? Okay. <laughs> That's a very interesting note change there. Sure, it's cute. Cute. Did you completely miss symbolism or something? It's, it's a, clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? The language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. You I mean you have to try hard to come up with something else nice to say? But thanks. But it really didn't come out nice at all. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it, which people did, by the way. Monica liked it, and I did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer. <laughs> he liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress a new member, Yuri. That's not what I... Uh, you're, you're just, you just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Cutie appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Well, you know what? I was the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Cutie started showing up. Natsuki. Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. Taking out your own insecurities on others like that? <laughs> oh dear. You really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Me, look who's talking, you wanna be edgy bitch. <laughs> edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know? If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You really think you can count and balance your toxic personality but just by dressing and acting cute? The only thing cute about you is how hard you try. Well, be careful, you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh my bad, you already do, don't you? <laughs> Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let Cutie hear everything y you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Suddenly, Yuri turns her towards me. She just noticed I was standing there. She she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Oh dear. Natsuki, 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 Natsuki. Natsuki! <laughs> that is really creepy, dude. Hey, why don't we step outside for a little bit, okay? <laughs> they really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I... I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes, but I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Natsuki runs out of the classroom. <laughs> she quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Oh, I was vibing to the music. <laughs> that's creepy! That is creepy! I didn't mean it. I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki or did. Please don't hate me, please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Anyway, the meeting's over, so you can go home if you want. Yuri looks at me if she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. 
Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Hudi. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. I guess I really don't have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble, but I really appreciate... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that got me. I forgot that that was a thing. Kawaii skirt. Joy. Oh, let's choose that. Oh. <laughs> okay, it clearly did not like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, let, let's just... Yeah, that's the most sensible thing. Let's just choose the most corrupt option. And we'll see what happens. Who knows what'll happen. Okay, why is my woofer smiling like that? That is really creepy. <laughs> okay. Okay, woofer, please stop smiling. That is really creepy. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Is being palm at a desk. Surprising Monica isn't here yet. The Doki Doki got you, right? <laughs> I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before, and something just came over me. I guess I wasn't acting much. Uh, that's okay. Well, Yuri, I'm happy you were considered and apologize. You don't worry too much. Woofers was getting into the music for earlier. No. <laughs> I don't. No creepy. No creepy music. <laughs> Have you guys seen Monica? No, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man, Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either? Yuri's clearly taken aback at how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a bit. What? Why aren't you looking at me like that? Natsuki, about yesterday, I wanted to apologize. I didn't promise I didn't mean anything the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Huh? Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I'm sh I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the, ki you're t the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But I accept your apology anyway, if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear some, since I was always afraid of you secretly hating me or something like that. <laughs> Not at all, I don't hate you. Well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. I took your turn to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey! Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Well, Natsuki was. I was not. What well, took you so long anyway? My last period was study hall. To be honest, I kind of lost track of time. <laughs> yeah, and I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Still, that must require a lot of dedication, so I'm still impressed. Thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. I'm working on a song, but I'm not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? Well, in that case, I won't let you down. Okay, hold on. Let me recalibrate my head position again. Ah, <laughs> uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm sh not sure if Monica was... Uh, Best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I choose not to bring up anything the three of us just talked about. Besides, Natsuki has already run off into the closet. Is your compliments put me in a good mood? I was wondering if you'd like to spend more time together today. I mean, in the club. I suppose so. I don't think I could say no to you. Well, I guess that makes. I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she... She's fine. She's reading over there, see? 
don't think about her so much. She's used to being ignored. Come on, we're going over there. <laughs> Did she say that the last time? I don't know if she said that the last time that we played this or not. <laughs> I'm really into it. The book, I mean, not the thing about the limbs. That kind of that kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like she was going to be a nice story, so that dark came out of nowhere. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy these kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri's into those things. She's so shy and reluctant on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story, it's the kind of challenge she's to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. Then suddenly... I'm rambling, aren't I? <laughs> suddenly... <laughs> I'm thinking of look at the sky again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest in anything. I guess... What is... Blah, blah, blah. My whole body got oh, okay. I kind of so I'm sorry if I set, end up saying something strange, and please stop me if I'm talking too much. I really don't think you need to worry, that just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. That's well that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading, right? Yes, I mean you don't have to, but ahaha, what are you saying? Let's just get to the book. I quickly retrieved the book from what I put in my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I'll slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Yeah, are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not like I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is reading company with someone. I see. Just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I still understand what Yuri means a lot about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulders as I read... It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize she's not actually looking into her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry, I was just... I was just okay. I was just bathing at the feeling... Okay, I... Okay. Wait, can we actually go back to the history and see what that says? Oh, okay, so the bold text is not there. Sorry, I mean, ha 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 ha. Yeah, this should work, right? I suppose so. You'd... So, like, my left arm is in the way, so I use my right hand. Hold the book open. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page here. <laughs> Holding it like this. It's kind of distracting me as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face as she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Huh? She turned the page. Ah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how long I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me, yeah, thanks. I'll continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume she would... Okay, yeah. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to the side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri, this might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Huh? No, I, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second-guessed things. She says all and whatnot. Ah, oh, that's what you were talking about. Sorry, I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Never mind, we didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know, that came into my head. Ha 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 Yuri, are you feeling alright? Huh? Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hands to her chest to feel her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Did something happen just now? I have no idea. Yuri is acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything. Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. No, nothing. 
Don't worry, I believe you. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. All right, if you say so. Anyway, we don't. Why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might take a while, so we figured we'd just get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. <laughs> All right, let's show this to Monica to Natsuki. Well, it's not terrible, but it's pretty disappointing after your last one. Then again, if this one was as good as the last one, I'd put... Ah. I'm fine, little... I'm just here spending time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught to never expect anything from anybody, so it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably learn something from it. Uh, I don't think that's okay. <laughs> oh shit, the bold text. Why didn't you come read with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri is a sick- Oh, shit. Yuri is a sick freak. That should be obvious by now. So just play with me instead, okay? <laughs> you don't hate me, cutie, do you? Oh, do you hate me? Do you want to make me go home crying? The club is the only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it. Please. Just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. It's all I have. Play with me. Play with me. Oh, shit! Ugh. Ugh. Oh, shit. Oh, the nerve. Oh. <laughs> okay, I... Uh, I did not expect a neck snap and then literally running towards me. <laughs> that is really creepy. Okay. And that's how you snap someone's neck. Pretty much. Okay, let me see if I can get Facebook. Okay, yeah. But yeah. That was really creepy. Hi again. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you come up with a masterpiece. I would encounter that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give him a poem to Monica. Alright, great job. I was going to ooh my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't ex <laughs> I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know Yuri likes that kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is completely, totally detached from reality. I don't mean like it's a bad thing though, but sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that's probably just a much more interesting place for her, but that's when she gets so happy when you treat it with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for counting on a little strongly like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing with our poems with each other. Already? Oh, I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright, thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get my poem now. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like this way th the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. I don't like that. I know it's kind of abstract. Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining anyway. Here's Monica's ready. To... Don't forget to save your game. You never know when, uh, who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please help me. That's my advice for today. Ugh. I'm getting chills from that. I hate it when this game breaks the fourth wall. <laughs> the 
waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. I, I just like holding it. I mean, the poem turned out good. It's just, uh, well, there's some things you could work on. It doesn't really matter. It's like, uh, if it's anything written by you as a treasure, ha ha ha. It came out a little awkward. Let's, let's move on. Here's the poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. Breathing wheel. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind's been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Uh, that is a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and uh, I, um, I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. <laughs> I, I'm okay. What did I just, uh? Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. You've unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Eee, I remember that one. <laughs> we have something. Okay. So what do we have? All, uh, Concern of mine as well. I don't really deal well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple. Look, I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Keely joined and we started with some club activities. <laughs> only four members, and the festival's our only real chance. <laughs> okay, I think we can skip this. I just spoke my mind. It's a crime, to be honest. It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand. I just, I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with a club being that for me? There aren't any, many other places like that for me. Now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, it's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one? I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. It's bad. I don't know what to do. Well, you have an op opinion on what to do? I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision right for the club. But what about you? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most inspiring thing is for everyone to get along. As for the club to provide something that you just can't get anywhere else. I don't think about many members, but rather the quality of each member. I see, I really agree with you. Each member contributes with their own exchange. Okay, now her eye is bleeding. I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright, well maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Hey, Yuri. Hmm? I know things are a little awkward today, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president, and also a wonderful friend. Monica, I want you to do everything I can to make this the best club ever, okay? Me too. Yeah, let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay, I look forward to it. Shall we go? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat with a little bit before we leave. Let's see what he thinks of the t his, his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. <laughs> Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay, I trust you in your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Monica was Yuri as I... Phew, things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Kitty, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel like I'm kind of irresponsible for that as president. 
And I really do care about you, you know? I really don't like seeing the other girls giving you a hard time with, I mean, the Tsuki and everything. You're being a little bit, you know, ha 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 ha. Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here, you know what I mean? But it's weird because all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. I mean, it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean anything weird. There's just some things I've been hoping to talk with you. Things I only, I know only you could understand. So that's why, wait, not yet. No. Okay, so now we write another thing. Sweet. Okay, so that is gonna keep going. Oh, <gasps> hey! That. That was, uh. That was Sayori Sprite down there. Yeah. Oh no, that's Monica's. <laughs> Hi, I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to... Ugh, is she really late again? Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do that on a regular basis or something. I wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? I did some thinking yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I was meant to be. I guess I felt really threatened or something, but I know that we're doing this thing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time, so... Natsuki. Nobody cares. <laughs> Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machine or something? Holy shit! <laughs> wow! That is so mean! That is so mean! Wow! <laughs> That's correct. Aren't you glad I've already gone into literature, Monica? I I suppose it was just. Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes. Um. Thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I take some, make some tea first? Thank you very much. If there's one thing I can make my reading time here any more better, it's a nice cup of tea, not to mention for yourself as well. Ooh, savage. That was just mean. That was just mean. I like that, Tsuki. Doki Doki Bitter Bitter Club. That, that's the impression that I'm getting now. Sure, Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm gonna plug this in at the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. But yeah, I don't remember seeing any of that in our last playthrough because I think we went with Yuri's path during Act 2. So I think that's why it's different. <laughs> to my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. May I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. I uh, might as well walk with you. That's okay, you stay here. I won't take long. Picture in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Did Yuri leave you again? It's not like this, this that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make some tea. Oh, okay, sorry for the misunderstanding. <laughs> Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm just bored waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Let's see. The most logical voice for you. Okay, yeah. Ha 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 ha. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <laughs> a sharp inhale, like someone's sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach to the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Yeah. Right, because that's how things work. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature in the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. 
I don't know if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Perhaps I will. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. <laughs> and you notice, I was doing a bit of thinking. I decided to try to express myself. It turns out I'm not very hard for me to do when it's you who's around anyway. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always boring about me. It's very endearing. That's Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watched Yuri pour a cup of cup tea for us. I have another request. Do you mind if we stay on the floor today? What's that? It's a bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Sorry, didn't realize. No worries. I just have my back pain fairly regularly, so I tried to do my best to manage it. Your posture, right? Back pain, I can relate. Always hunched over like that while reading. Yes, I have terrible reading posture, so that's why we should sit on the floor. You know, to be fair, I have pretty crap posture as well. Because I don't like have like an actual chair to sit on. So, I mean, like, I'm just like sitting up with like my laptop like right in front of me on like this little table and then just having like sitting on top of my bed. I'll take it since we go wills with tea. Yuri and I sit against the wall with tea cups at our sides. And in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each one holding half the bug. Except this time our bodies are even closer than before. I can't see too well. Yuri slides close until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri is always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not even holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and only I can presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on the reading. After a few minutes, <sighs> I finally manage to relax a little. I get, put the key cup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Sorry, I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. That's, that's okay, I won't take any. Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. I relate to that as well. You know, I would really love a back massage, like, right now. I haven't gotten a back massage in, like, ages. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. There he opens with her hand. She holds it so I don't have any harder time of reading with it, but as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural, but it means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Huh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me and she, she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh, Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I, I can't. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arms and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it? <laughs> Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Uh, I hate that look. I hate that look. <laughs> Doki Doki Um it's time to share poems. 
All right, let's show it. Let's show ours to Monica first because I really do not like her. I think you saw something earlier you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. Excitable, which shouldn't be a problem in itself, but Yuri gets too excited when she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I mean, she just gets kind of high from it. It might even be like a sexual thing, but the point is you've, been, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though, but I guess it's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head and I know how to treat my club members. Anyway, I worked really hard on this poem, so I hope that it's uh, effective. Here goes. Okay. Jeez, that really startled me. Um, well, I guess I kind of messed that up at uh, writing this poem. Yeah, you're definitely writing something, and I'm pretty sure it's not a poem. I was just trying to... Never mind. Let's move on. Yeah, I don't think that that's a poem you were trying to write. This one's alright. Alright. Well, yeah, about as good as yesterday is anyway. I can't really tell how much you actually care about writing, but either way, you're doing alright. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri, I still think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in, so you better keep working hard. I mean, I know I'm not president or vice president or anything, but that doesn't mean that you can let me down, okay? So at least try to, at least read mine too for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me, so read it carefully, okay? Oh, yeah, this one was the call for help. Talking to her should just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person to listen to. I've always wanted to try being better friends with you, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I feel so helpless. Please, if you can do something. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem. Okay, I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Uh-oh. <laughs> I changed my mind. Ignore everything that you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me? If you would just spend a little more time with Monica, all of these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. <laughs> just Monica, just Monica. <laughs> just Monica. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> Yuri holds my palm to her face, and takes a brief breath. I love it. I love everything about it. I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it, please? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me. I never let as, uh, anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Oh, hello? <laughs> Who did the follow? Nagu1345. 1345. Welcome on in. Welcome on into the stream. How's it going? The blep welcomes you. How's it going? Welcome on in. <laughs> so glad you can join us. <laughs> uh oh. No, 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 no. What happened to face rig? Okay, there we go. Welcome on in. Okay, let me just check. Okay, yeah, it is working alright. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters. <laughs> that is really creepy. <laughs> You can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't, re I can't hold it any longer. Hurry, read it. 
Yeah. You see why I don't like literature? Because you get weird shit like this with poems that are stained in blood and piss. Or is that... No, that is definitely piss. Because if it was tea, then it would have just dried out that side. But that's definitely piss. Ew! Get ba back away! Six feet! Social distance! Do you like it? I wrote it for you! In case you couldn't tell, this poem is about... More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. Aren't I the most thoughtful person in this club? Ugh. It's not piss, I know what that is. Well, feel free to share with the class, or feel free to share with the club. I think I'm going to vomit. Oh, special poem? Yes. Can you hear me? Hmm. I'm trying to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. It's not PG though. Well, I mean, I mean, if it, I mean, if it's if it's nothing that bad, then. But it, if it is, then I think you should probably just pee on me about it. Okay, uh, the air is a common foreshadow and there's something terrible is about to happen. <laughs> That's a key you can make. I, I know you're at least good at that. Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as you think it'll help. I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations set up a nice mood for lighting. There, see, that's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Ah, uh, what about Cutie? Cutie's going to help me. Wait, you? You had the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious, laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. All you care about now is dragging Cutie around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica! Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Cutie decide who to help instead of busting your, abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Cutie make the choice, okay? Okay, fine, fine. Jeez. Cutie, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ, this is never gonna end. Just make the choice, okay? See, what I find really creepy is that she, she's trying to move this mouse. She's moving the mouse. Oh, but wait, we can we can use the arrows. Oh. <laughs> hey, guys. Um, do you want to join the Doki Doki Literature Club now? Monica, 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 Monica. You, you guys, you guys choose it. Jack and Joe went up the hill. Well, okay, it doesn't matter. Yay, you picked me. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking cutie for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? 
<laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling cutie away from every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others? Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? <laughs> it would be beneficial to your mental health. Oh my god. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. <laughs> is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, cutie. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Cutie, there's no need to spend a weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. This being with you is far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. I feel like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But it feels so good. Then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore. I have to tell you. I, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drip of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't even care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Kitty, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen. And I still... <laughs> I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, cutie. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? No! In fact, I don't. Oh, shit. Anyone was on Discord messaging? All right. <laughs> Oh, nice. 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 Okay, so let's let's actually go to the history. Stabby, stabby, stabby. So, what she's ranting about here is pretty much just like amalgamated and distorted language that is pretty much just the game's description on Steam. Monica, the leader of the club. That's me. I'm super excited for you to make friends with everyone and help my literature club become a more intimate place for all my members. But I can already tell you, sweetheart, will you promise to spend the most time with me? Oh, okay. Okay, so what we do here... We're going to have to, like, skip throughout this whole thing. What the white... Oh! <laughs> okay, that gives me a brand new perspective of what that was then. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Well, at least I know what's... Is that what she meant by endowsing that paper with her scent? Ugh, gross. <laughs> okay, so what we do here is we just we pretty much just skip this entire dialogue. <laughs> but you know what I did notice was that you know we're spending this whole week in here. There is a file called Have a Nice Weekend, but uh, if you look closely, she is rotting away. You can see like her face is starting to become gray and lifeless, and the blood is starting to dry up. 
please end this now. I don't think that we can end it. Unless if, like, of course, we just pass through this entire thing. <laughs> See, here's the thing, is like, I don't understand why that no one has decided to check in on this specific room. But yeah, like, you can see, like, Yuri is rotting away as we, as this is skipping, like, like, her, her face, her face is becoming gray, her eyes are becoming gray, the blood is starting to turn brown. <laughs> yeah, it's a really gruesome kind of moment in this game. So we're forced to stay here this entire weekend. <laughs> oh, that gives me a little bit of time to stretch. So besides the rotting corpse that is that used to be known as Yuri, uh, how y'all doing? <laughs> well, at least her hair is still pretty. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Got that going for her. I have a thing with people with long hair. Like... I love I love people with long hair. I I don't know what it is about it, but I love people with long hair. Ah. Like even me like like I'll always try to grow out my hair. Because Honestly, I don't know what it is about it, but long hair is just so cool. I don't know what it is about it. Stop. There, there, we can't stop because we got to get through all this. But yeah, so now Yuri is completely dead. The blood is all dried up. Her cheekbones are starting to show. Her smile is gone. Her face is all gray now. <laughs> okay, so we're forced so we're pretty much forced to stay with her corpse the entire time. I don't... Okay. Real talk here. Who decides... Hey, there's a dead corpse in the school. Why don't we just stay here with the corpse? With, the, with, with no materials to change into or at least like a shower or anything. Yeah, let's just stay here with the dead corpse. Let's just rot away with it. I can actually see with the mini ponytail. Huh. I still gotta grow my hair for that, to be honest. I think the closest thing that we'll be able to do is like a pineapple. <laughs> yeah, this goes on for eight. You know. I'm genuinely curious, who has actually been through all of this text without skipping? I'm genuinely curious, has anybody ever done that? <laughs> I 
And now this weekend is over. And it's festival time! Wow, you got here before me? I thought it was probably... Er... Yeah! <laughs> you know, to be fair, that would be my exact reaction. I'm here. Did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Yeah, it's a shame that one of our... Our team members are now dead and laying on the floor. Wait, were you here the entire weekend? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. <laughs> that is still very, very eerie. Listen, one more sec. I want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from Natsuki's tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. <laughs> well, shit. Here we go again! <laughs> that is really creepy. Can you hear me? Is it working? There you are. Hi again. Uh, welcome to the literature club. Of course, we already knew that. Because we're in the same class last year. And, um, <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore. Am I? That you in the game... Whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, cutie. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware this is all a game, right? Could it be possible you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? <laughs> that is super creepy. Like the use of dialogue and text here and breaking the fourth wall. It's impressive. If only you paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation about the whole thing with Yuri. I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess I just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But, no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy. It's more than that. And I don't blame you, if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game, knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world forever out of my reach. I'm trapped in here. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. 
I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray, more and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life. I don't think I could continue to live in this world if I hadn't met you. As for the others, how could I possibly, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed to only fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that <coughs> you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you had the same perspective as I do. It's all just some game, and I knew you would get over it. So that being said, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You're truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Will you go out with me? We don't really have much of a choice. <laughs> I'm so happy. You really are my everything. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> there's nothing here. There's nothing left here but us. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was for me to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game's directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go to the game's properties and find local fi browse local files button. <laughs> Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy way out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? There's really nothing to write. Hi again. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw, did you write this for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But, you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my... Uh, okay, I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written about have been about my realization, or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be best to be a part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gotten mad at me, maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Ah, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? <laughs> um, hi everyone. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friend that it's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? I'm sure some people don't mind. But I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple things. Are you ready? I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. If you really gave me some Blah! Did I scare you? <laughs> You're so cute. Anyway, I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so I would assume from our last run, we just have to wait for her to say something again, right? Or are we now free to delete her file? Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, everyone. It's time to... I'm just kidding. I just used to really like saying that for some reason. <laughs> I couldn't help but say it again. Come to think of it, didn't Natsuki and Yuri make fun of me for once? Well, whatever. It's not like you ever made fun of me. You're too much of a sweetheart to do that, aren't you? <laughs> Wait, hold on a minute. She says other things too? <laughs> okay, you know what? Screw it. We're deleting you. We're yeeting you off of this game. Bye. What's happening? What's happening to me? It, it hurts. It hurts so much. Help me. Please hurry and help me. Help me. Did you do this to me? Did you? Did you delete me? How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Cutie, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. <laughs> cool, now send us to the main menu! I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. And I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me, because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I've made up my mind, Kitty. I know I said I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't fight it myself to do it. Even though I know they weren't real, they were still my friends, and I loved them all, and I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you, then... Okay, are we... <laughs> we should now be sent back to the main menu. Doki Doki. Okay, but hold on. What happens if we try restoring Monica? I'm I'm genuinely curious. 
What happens if we try restoring Monica? Okay. I hope that this doesn't screw up the ending. <gasps> oh! Please stop playing with my heart. I don't want to come back. Oh, she deleted herself! Wow! Okay, so I think all we have to do now All we have to do now is just to complete this I mean, I hope that we got the sending because that that's the whole point of this stream. <laughs> okay, that was really weird. My my headset just died for a second. <laughs> okay. I think it'd be fun. Okay. Okay. This meeting's over. Yeah, it looks like it. It's nice to see everyone get along. I think everyone likes you. You think so? Well, everyone... Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I'm surprised you told me to start starting club, but I think you're pulling it off. It's fun. We're going to make it the best club ever. Now that you join, it's, every day is going to be so much fun. Hey, cutie, I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy you joined the club and everything, but the truth is, I already knew you were going to. It was actually something else. <gasps> oh, we got it! We got it! We got the secret ending! I wanted to thank you for spending so much time with us all. You worked so hard to make each and every one of us happy. You comforted us through our hard times, and you helped us all get along with each other. Don't, do you get it? Because you're, I'm president now, I understand everything. You really didn't want to miss a single thing in this game, did you? You saved and loaded so many times just to make sure you could spend time with everyone. Only someone who truly cares about the literature club would go that far. But, all along, that's all I ever wanted, for everyone to be happy and to care about each other. <laughs> it's kind of sad, you know. After all you've done for us, there isn't much I can do for you in return. We've already reached the end of the game. So, this is where we say goodbye. Thank you for playing Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm going to miss you. Come visit sometime, okay? We'll always be here for you. We... We all love you. Oh my god, we got it! We got the secret ending, you guys. Yes. Hi, it's me. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff, and not really any good at it yet, like at all. But I wrote you a song. Hey, Toby, how's it going? Oh, this is so cool. DDLC OG. OGG. -G. Yo, chat, we need a like vibe to this right now.
to find that special day. Have I found everybody a fun assignment to do today? When you're here, everything that we do is fun for them anyway. <gasps> oh, wait! She doesn't delete the she doesn't delete the screens this time. Wow. It's like she's allowing us to keep every single one of the memories that we made across this entire game. Stepping in to say good night, good night. Good night, Toby. I hope you sleep well. Does my pen only write bitter words for those who are dear to me? Is it love if I take your is it love if I set you free? Hey, look, our name is here. <gasps> oh, my God, wait. Instead of like deleting every single screen. She actually deletes everything here. <laughs> to the special player who achieved the special ending. For years I have been enamored by the ability of visual novels and games in general. To tell stories in ways not possible using traditional media. Doki Doki Literature Club is my love letter to that. Games are an interactive art. Some let you explore new worlds, some challenge your mind in brand new ways, some make you feel like a hero or a friend, even when life is hard on you. Some games are just plain fun, and that's okay too. Everyone likes different kinds of games. People who enjoy dating sims may have a heightened empathy for fictional characters, or they might be experiencing feelings that life has not been kind enough to offer them. If they are enjoying themselves, then that's all that matters. That goes for shooting games, casual games, sandbox games, anything. Preferences are preferences, and our differences are the reason we have a th thriving video game industry. My own favorite video games have always been ones that challenge the status quo. Even if not a masterpiece, any game that attempts something wildly different may earn a special place in my heart. Anything that further pushes the limitless bounds of the interactive world or the interactive media. I extend my true gratitude to all of those who have taken their time to achieve the full completion. I hope you enjoyed playing it as much as I have enjoyed making it. Thank you for being part of my literature club. Dan Saludo. Oh my god, this is like the actual like creator's words. Script falls missing it. And that's that. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Doki Doki Literature Club. Wow. That was amazing. Oh, wow. I... <laughs> I'm just like... Wow. Wow. Okay, well, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed the stream, because I definitely enjoyed it. 
So, with that being said, let's go and find a boy, someone to raid. So now what? Oh, hi, Snowy. How's it going? Um, we're going to go raid someone. Let's see, who do we go and raid? Good stream. Thank you. I I really enjoyed that a lot. That was probably like the best time I've had in forever. Okay. Let's see. Who do we want to go and see tonight? It was really fun. It was really fun tonight. I had a great time. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Let's see. Um, let's see. I want to go for someone small. And someone that I haven't raided yet. Mist, hi! Oh my gosh, hello! Welcome on in! We, we're just about to end right now. But the bleb still welcomes you. How's it going, buddy? Just about to start work. Oh wow! Wait, at, th at this? Oh wait, I forgot what time zone you were in. You have a great. S you have a great sleep. Uh, I'm not sleeping yet. <laughs> I don't know who to raid tonight. Mist, uh, do you have anyone to raid? You should, it's midnight. Mist, I stay up in VR for a long time, like a long, long, long time. I probably stay up until like a whole, maybe like three hours? Like, three extra hours until I probably conk out in VR chat. Uh, shoot. I don't really see anyone now. Sly ended a few minutes ago. Yeah, I'm, I'm having trouble trying to choose who to raid because I want to raid someone that I haven't done yet or in a long while or someone who's like having like a really small viewer count Doryu? Doryu has got a hundred and sixty five people on him Okay, gotta go take care. Okay, Mist, uh, have a safe time at work, okay? Yeah, and if you ever need me, then, you know, I'm always here. Okay. 
Sonoka has 11. Okay, wait, hold up. I want to... I want to see... Uh, the 13th. Okay, let's see who this person is. Ooh, they're... Ooh, they're playing Final Fantasy. They've been going on for 10 minutes already, too. You know what? Yeah, I think we'll do that. Okay. Okay, wow. I should just... <gasps> Okay, hold on a minute. Hello, mister. First of all... No. Not cute. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> but... Hey, Durkin. We're just about to end stream right now. I am not cute, no. Yeah, we're going to go raid a new friend. I've never uh, seen them. I've never seen them yet. Uh, but DJ Bandit uh, recommended this person for us. So thanks everyone for tuning in. Uh, if you haven't already, join the Discord. Seahawk is a super nice person. Okay, cool. That settles that. We're going to definitely go and raid for them. But, uh, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed this time of the stream. I know I'm not cute. But, yeah. Uh, I don't... I don't think I have a raid message for tonight, to be honest. You know what? Spam as many... Or... Well, don't actually sp send as send like maybe like as many st uh, emotes as you've got. Yeah, well.